today. Today's Sunday. So I might post this probably on Tuesday. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show y'all a good springtime pattern that I have a lot of good luck on the lakes that I fish in Oklahoma and here on in Texas. And we have this Sonic side from um, Alternative Lures. I got this from Alternative Lures. Sonic side KO Mega Bass. And then this one, I can't remember the name of it, but I got this one from um, Get Bit Custom Baits. So he has great blanks also. So I got those two from two different places. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to take and um, base coast both of these in my normal golden um, titanium white, which I thin down because it's not the the airbrush because I can't get that where I live so anyway but we're just gonna base coat these white real quick and yes I'm still using that Sparmax DH103 which it's a good airbrush but I did order me a new one it should be here tomorrow so to replace my badger and it took me a few days to figure out which one I wanted to get but I finally finally decided I could never really just decide on which one we'll probably do another coat on it Those are heat set. Now we're gonna use this pearl magenta over them, completely cover them over that white. All right. Oh. I'm sorry, I still forget there's a camera there sometimes. That looks pretty good. Then we'll do this one.
there's those two. So I clean out my airbrush and I'll heat set them real quick. And we'll be right back. Okay, they're heat set, and I got them wrapped in this tule. And yes, use as many clips as you can to get all that, keep that nice and tight. Because you want that nice and tight or it won't look right. So we're going to take this golden high flow titanium white. Going to load this airbrush. And we're going to spray these white again. Think a little bit on the tip draw, son. There we go. We got her out. So anyway, we're just gonna cover these in white again. So I'm gonna try to keep these in where y'all can see them. And this is a pretty quick pattern. Nothing hard. Pretty simple. And like always, just try to get in there on those clamps. clean out the airbrush and I'll be right back. Alright, now our next color is going to be OPEC Red. And last last year I caught several two and a half, three pound largemouth on this pattern. They just, they just freaking annihilate it. Especially on these flat sided cranks. They just really... I just really went to town on it. So, anyway, here we go. We're going to spray the red on it.
bit more red. go grab my charger be right back okay now let's let's finish this um and then i'm going to take a little pearl white and we're going to spray this at an angle if i can get any out of here i need to get some more but i'll try to get enough out It take much to do these two baits, so well, pearl white's our next color, so. Alright, so what we're going to do is just spray it at an angle. like that and you can kind of see that pearlness on it then we're going to take this one and do the same thing to get these heat set real good or when you pull that wrap off it'll pull the paint off with it all right well 
I'll let those sit there and cool off for a minute. So, I hope everybody's doing alright. Um, if you like the video so far, please hit sub hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And please share it because it helps the YouTube algorithm. And I appreciate everyone that has subscribed. I think we're up to 259 subscribers. So... Let's get this community growing and I'll keep producing more videos and more unusual patterns and more lifelike patterns, match the hatch patterns. We'll do just about anything. And But anyway, I really appreciate every one of y'all So for watching my videos. I hope you're learning something. I don't know if I'm teaching anybody anything or not. I want to try to improve the quality of my videos to where... I keep stuff in the screen a little bit better and maybe we can do that. Well, maybe these are dried and cooled off enough. We'll try it and see. Uh, this always, this is always the part that drives me nuts. Because not for sure if you ever get them just really dried really, really good. But we just got one more step to go after, after this. And it's not a hard one. It's pretty easy. So we'll just pull. I'll just pull all these clips off. Get them in a pile so I can put them back in their drawer. But anyway, we'll just pull pull these clips off of this one. All right. And then we'll pull the clips off of this one. Alright, well, let's see. That's Jen Kravosky. Oh, a lot to her. Jekyll Bates, because she's helped me a lot. Um, Frank Ponton's helped me a lot. Um, Matthew Thacker's helped me a lot, and, um, Michael Ornstein lured me in. I've learned a lot from him, but anyway, when you get it to this point, just rip it off like a band-aid, as Jen Kravosky would say, and there it is. He has that shine, but you can see that red and that pink on him, so... We have a little bit of white, but that's fine. No biggie. Not going to hurt him one bit. So, that just adds character to him. So, we'll put him here on this. We'll do that. This one don't have a gill plate. So, I normally put shad dots on these. But anyway, we'll spread this all apart. Maybe. Yeah, I figured he's gonna do that. That's alright, no bingy. We'll fish them like this. These are baits that I'll probably keep. I usually don't try to sell this pattern. But anyway, rip it off like a band-aid. There's the other one. Yeah, looks pretty good. Ripped a little bit of the red paint off. I must have got it too thick. That's alright though. We can just take a little bit of this pink and I'll show y'all. We'll fix him right up. We'll just take a couple of drops of that pink. Make sure we get all that water out. There we go. So anyway, we're just going to take and spray those little white spots. There we go. We'll just make it look like that. And then we'll do this little white spot. It's 
just like that. So it's one way to fix them. Just add a little color to them. It'll look pretty good. So. But anyway, let's do the final step on these. So what we'll do is grab our oh, oh let me clean this out real quick. But anyway, um I'm starting to stack up a lot of bait, so if there's anything that I might do a shop update and show you everything I've got painted. If anybody's interested in anything, you can, you can buy them from me. You can also put in orders with me if you want to. And, um, also do repaints. Um, This is Wicked Opec Black. You can't read it anymore, but it's Opec Black. So. I'm watching that. Anyway. We're just going to match him up with his gill plate. So we're just going to do it right there. Make him old shad dot. We'll flip him over. Then we'll just put another shad dot on him. That'll finish that one. Then this one, this one's gonna be a little more harder to figure out a shad dot on. Um I didn't think about that. No gill plate. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put this edge right there. And then we're just going to do that spot right there. Then we're going to flip him over. I'm going to flip him over. Then we're gonna flip this over. We're just gonna put put that right there. And we'll just double shad dot him right there. Just like that. So we'll just make this one. We'll make this one. We'll make this one just a touch. There. There we go. We got them old shatter dots. I might need to make this one like that too. So. Man, this thing 
getting them right. But anyway, we're just gonna call that good. Kinda almost makes him look like he has horns. But I bet they'll still hit him. So anyway. We're just gonna leave it like that. So I don't think it's gonna bother the fish one bit. But anyway, there's this one. We'll put some eyes on him, clear coat him, take some pictures of him. Here's this one. We'll take some we'll take put eyes on him and clear coat him and take pictures of him too. So but anyway, there's my crazy red pink shad patterns that do they do catch fish trust me they catch fish so get out of here stupid dog we'll play somewhere else but anyway thank you thank y'all for watching i really appreciate everyone that's subscribed and that's watching and like i said i hope y'all are learning something and and it and also if y'all are wanting any of my baits just i'm on messenger i'm on facebook so just get a hold of me and i'll darn sure sell some baits so. thank y'all for watching we'll see y'all in the next one